Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor and welcome to another massive tools bundle on the Unity Asset Store specifically. And you will pay a maximum of $40 for all of these, but with three specific bundles which are cheaper in each, with a massive 96% saving across all of them, with over $500 of tool assets, whether you want this for custom shaders, placement systems, AI, character controllers, searching through, IV creation, and so, so, so much great stuff. Stick with me because I'll go through every single one of these assets. You can decide whether you want to pick this up and I do recommend it because it's absolutely insane value. So I did make a video on the nature manufacture big terrain and game building, which is on Humble, which you can also check out. So make sure to check out all the links in the description for all of those details. First of all, in the Power Tools Mega Bundle, we've got the $39.99 or more package, which is 79% off across four assets. And the first one is the Whiskey Structure Builder, which lets you create industrial standard pipes, cables, and ducts, which can fit right into your project with a visual style with optimized performance. So this uses a procedural mesh building extension for the Unity editor, which can be solely customizable with use of scriptable objects, re-editable additions, prefabs, LOD groups, and loads of performance inclusions in there. The next one is the Roguelike Generator Pro for level and dungeon procedural generator, which allows you to procedurally generate 3D, 2D, and 2.5D levels using game objects, tile maps, or other custom solutions. It, so the package includes multiple character controllers with multiple out-of-the-box scripts, prefabs, six sample scenes. The next one is the Combat Framework, which is a third-person character controller system and creator, which allows you to add NPC interaction for the use of weapons with unique animations on a per-weapon basis. A third-person character, top-down stance, trigger and action system, mobile controls and inventory, multiplayer with photon support, ledge climbing, melee and range combat, and scene transitions. And the last one in this bundle is the component names, and this integrates seamlessly in the Unity editor and allows you to literally rename components that you already have. If something might be named Box Collider, you can just rename that nicely and give it very specific names. The next bundle is 91% off, so this is $34.99 or more. And this includes Local Avoidance, which is a lightweight and high-performance local avoidance solution. So this actually integrates with dots in mind, with jobs and the burst compiler, and it manages navigation. Circle targets, avoids head-to-head -head movements, predicts collisions, and avoids based on those parameters, and avoids only when necessary. The next one is the Wheel Controller 3D. So it's a complete alternative to Unity's built-in wheel collider, and it allows you to create more realistic vehicle behavior, complete customization, and 3D ground detection. So you can set the wheel's height and width, and not only a single point in the middle, it's got an API with almost no difference from Unity's built-in wheel collider, so it's easily customizable and swappable. The next one is OmniShade PBR, which is a physically based Uber shader. And this has everything the standard lit shader has and more with stylized lighting, blended layer, texture painting support, and lightning fast performance. So this includes for PDBR lighting, adjustments for color and saturation, rim lights, reflection maps, vertex colors, detail maps, height-based coloring, individual UV tiling, opaque textures and variations, supported across all versions of URP and HDRP, the next one is the grid placement system. So it allows you to easily place items onto a grid at runtime, perfect for city builders, tower defense, and all sorts of genres of games where you need to place items in the world. So you can customize all aspects of the grid, whether that's visualization, whether that's the visual feedback that you see, you can change the actual grid cells themselves. Whether you don't want a square, you can have a circle, a triangle, a dot, super easy to use with custom edited tools and a wide range of selections for each. The next one is Geometry Algorithms, which is a collection of algorithms which can help you generate any or improve complex geometry at any data set. So you can use triangulation, whole algorithms, extrusion algorithms, threading, all for real time, and is shipped with several examples. The next one is the IntelliMap AI tile map generator, which allows you to create stunning AI generated tile maps, no coding required at all, includes editor tools, runtime generation, and eight different examples. This allows you to quickly create vast environments, generate levels perfectly at runtime, single layout, whether it's 
rectangular isometric integrates seamlessly with Unity style maps with no external tools required. Next one is Easy Chart, and this is a scripting GUI package which helps you build up nice charts, which include pie charts, bar charts, line charts, rows, radar, or, or gauges. Lightweight, fast, easy to customize and modify the chart. Last one in this bundle is the Procedural Circular Health Bar Pro. So it's got a new compound health bars which combine health bars into a single bar to achieve otherwise impossible shapes. Fully customizable with 61 different properties to customize the health bar, the contents, the colors, the borders, the noise, the textures. And then the last selection which is $39.99 or more which is 96% savings across all this selection and everything that I've also featured in the video. So the first one here is Asset Cleaner Pro. And this allows you to keep your project clean and optimized and automatically find useless things at runtime within your project that just don't have any purpose. So unused files are marked in red and have unused assets which appear as counters on the folder to tell you how much you've got which is unused to clean up single files, entire scenes, and you can also use it to find specific references which is blazing fast. The next one is the physics based character controller and this is a highly rich, highly customizable rigid based character controller, super easy to set up which includes a player model and lots of different obstacles, prefab folder with core components, a sample scene, you've got the ability to have third person and first person, you can move and rotate the camera, you can jump, do long jumps, wall climb, wall slide, crouch, climb and sprint. The camera solution does avoid clipping with other objects in the scene. It has support for irregular terrains, smooth terrains, slopes, steps, moving platforms, rotating platforms, and so much more. Next one is the Ragdoll Animator, and this is a way to set up humanoid ragdolls instantly, set up animals and creatures to ragdoll as well. You can blend ragdolled limbs with an animated models, enable ragdoll and control muscle power towards animated poses. Next one is the ultimate crafting system, which can take you from very basic to smooth to creating recipes, to creating a robust placement and energy transfer system, which can be used in 3D and 2D games. It's got point and click and third person support. It's got a first person demo and inventory system item creation with an easy inventory, Categories, crafting, gathering, object placement, item instances, energy and item transfer, command system. Next one is something called Real IV2, a procedural IV generator. And this generates IV that can be used to create realistic climbing vegetation. So climbing plants that collide with the scene, as well as grow, climb, adapt, and create amazing growth animations at runtime. You can pre-bake these in the editor, or you can grow over time in the game. And it's recently had a version 2 with a redesigned user experience, improved presets, new runtime bakes, high quality presets, and so many optimizations. Next one is Asset Inventory, and this is a lightning fast search for assets outside of your current project. You can find content assets you've purchased or downloaded without even importing them into your project with a single click. You can organize this to import from the Unity Asset Store with particular tags, groups, reverse lookup if you need to search for quickly or quickly identify something that's already in your project, but you don't know where it is. Next one is the HDRP Time of Day Lighting, Weather and Clouds. And this is a fully featured lighting sky and weather system with a day to night cycle and volumetric clouds to create beautiful outdoor scenes in HDRP. You, so you can seamlessly turn the lighting from day to night with curves and gradients, weather effect system for rain, snow and sandstorms, extendable and you can add your own weather effects, reflection probes, profile based and loads of features. Next one is the Blaze AI Engine. And this is a comprehensive and highly customizable AI engine for, for all your enemy needs, whether that's enemies that include melee, ranged, cover shooters, and it recently had update version 2, so it's now faster, smarter, more customizable, more performant, and you can iterate even faster. The next one is the procedural lighting, high performance, and shocking lightning. Then this is creating procedural lightning like no other whether it's vr mobile desktop so you can drag the prefab and customize it and all pipelines are supported so you've got options for normal intense lightning cloud lighting options 17 distinct thunder sounds random ranges skybox forces dark cloud particles and loads of demo scenes the next one is voxel generator and this allows you to simulate destructible objects or environments and visualizations of volumetric data 
so that you can add this and you can have a dynamic visualization appearance in your scene. So you can have a resolution based sculpting system, which allows you to sculpt large terrain sculpting during your gameplay, convert and slice meshes, terrains directly to into voxel representation, create blocks and custom resolutions. It's got modular visualization support. Next one is the see through shader. And this lets your playable characters clearly see through any mesh without any modification to it at all. You can do an always on support, trigger UIs, toggle by click. It's got custom animations for it. You can have multiple players. You can have different zoning, many different effects to customize how it dissolves and interacts across all pipelines too. Next one is the stylized rock generator, which allows you to generate rocks in a couple of seconds, tweak parameters and see the results in real time. And it has a bunch of custom made rock materials to accomplish a desired look. And it works in 2019 and above and then works across URP and HDRP with lots of different pre-made rock variations, materials, suitable for support and shader graph and more. The next one is the gravity engine which provides a complete toolkit for creating your own space game physics, add stars, planets, spaceships, design orbits, manual orbits, rocket engines with staging, models of the Earth's atmosphere, solar systems, real-time world units, full support for particles, highly accurate, double precision physics, and you control the evolution speed, scale, and CPU usage. The next one is the spline mesh deform, and this is a collection of modifiers to generate procedural meshes, which you can use spline branching, speed nodes, normal nodes, scales, types, complex stuff. You can deform anything, extrude, plane meshes, tube meshes. And last but not least is the projectile toolkit. Super fast, works across 2D and 3D. Plenty of demos to be able to show you it. And it has different targeting algorithms to be able to customize for angle, height, time, speed, and different elevations. So remember, you can check out all these on the asset store and I'll put all the links down in the description because it's an insane whack of awesome tools that you can get hold of. Come and check out my page and if you want to get access to another 165 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else, check out my great assets on the Unity Asset Store and on my website for all of the great savings too. Big thank you to all my patrons, including Peter Steiner, Raheem Whitaker, Jean Pommy, Manos Barakas, Terence Conrad, Walter Dunson, Rennie Leisure, Topher Chambers, Alyssa Faden, Daniel Getajank, Ishikawa Takuya, Ron J, Hush, Thomas Mersaleski, Callum Murray, Mark Rondu, Abyss Gaming, Marvin Church, Osame Abdul, Hoagland Nigan, Nopaton, Josh Huang, Yaxis, Game Over 122, and Kermits. So thank you to everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.